What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today what I have for you is a tutorial on how to get Samurai Shodan RPG running in Retro Arc. You heard me right, Samurai Shodan RPG is completely playable in beautiful, beautiful English. And I'm going to show you guys how to get it up and running in Retro Arc. Now I have made a tutorial about this that I uploaded earlier, but there was some misinformation in there. So I want to get all that out of the, or straightened out and just get the correct info out for you guys. So let's go ahead and get started. So first and foremost, we're going to need retro art. So go ahead and jump to retroart.com or better yet, check the description of the video where I have the link to this and the bios website we'll visit next. But once you're in retro art, just head to download scroll down to your platform of choice and go ahead and download the emulator and go ahead and just get that installed right off the bat once you have retro arc installed pop on over to the universal bios official homepage and download the bios for neo geo cd download 3.34 cd and this right here these are the bios for the mvs aes systems or the cartridge system if you're interested in emulating that you can also do that in retro arc and these are the bios that you'll need for that all right so once you get retro arc installed it's gonna look like this once you pop in the folder it's gonna have all these files down here all these folders what you want to do for your neo geo cd bios and this is where i got it wrong last time guys we're going to get it right this time head over to system and then you're going to want to create a Neo Geo CD folder. And then once you get that folder created, this is where you unzip your BIOS right there in that Neo Geo CD folder. And then what I did is I created a ROMs folder in RetroArch. It doesn't make one for you. And then I created the Neo Geo CD folder just to keep that organized. And then this is where I unzipped Samurai Shodown RPG. It's going to look like this once you unzip it all these bin files here and then the Q file down at the bottom that's what you're going to choose to run the game so let's go ahead and jump into retro art so i can show you guys the last couple of steps to get this going all right so we are in the main menu for retro art and what we want to do from here first is get our controller set up so go over to settings oh, come on mouse there we go input and then we want to go to port one controls It'll show you here if you have a controller plugged in, which controller you're using. And then from here, you can get everything set up. From there, we want to go ahead and load up the game. All right, here we are. And like I said before, you're going to want to boot the Q file. And then suggested cores. These are just the emulators that the RetroArch thinks you can use to boot the game. We want to do SNK Neo Geo CD. And then we'll see what happens from here as far as where the game boots because it might boot me into the game it might boot me into the main menu which is where i want to be all right so this is the main menu for the neo geo cd and this is where it's going to send you the first time you try to run the iso now there's one more step you need to take before you can get the game to run so on your controller or whatever you have hit select wherever you map that and what you want to do is change your region to jp and your system to CDZ. And now go ahead and exit that menu. For you guys, once you exit the menu, it'll boot up automatically and it should start Samurai Showdown RPG for you. All right, everybody, that's how you get Samurai Showdown RPG running in Retro Arc. I want to shout out the homie Demon Dude 777 who told me that the bio setup was wrong and he was right. So I had to come correct with the right information for you guys. But hopefully this video gets you off the ground and running with Samurai Showdown RPG. And I hope that you guys enjoy the game. It looks really cool. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. So I'm really excited to jump into it. And I hope you guys are too. Anyway, if y'all have any questions or issues, I'll try my best to help you troubleshoot in the comments. Other than that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.